Hi folks, Mandy Martinez here. Welcome to lesson 37. I'm going to start out with um, the front, um, turning the the text in the at the front of the book on page 28. This is my way of turning it over to the Holy Spirit um, and letting the Holy Spirit be in charge. So now I'm not in charge. I'm I'm not going to be in charge. Okay. I'm here only to be truly helpful. I am here to represent him who sent me. I do not have to worry about what to say or what to do because he who sent me will direct me. I am content to be wherever he wishes, knowing he goes there with me. I will be healed as I let him teach me to heal. Okay, so now we're going to pay, turn to page 37. Right here. Yes. Not page 37. Page 56. Lesson 37. My holiness blesses the world. This idea contains the first glimmerings of your true function in the world or why you are here. Your purpose is to see the world through your own holiness. Thus are you and the world blessed together. No one loses. Nothing is taken away from anyone. Everyone gains through your holy vision. It signifies the end of sacrifice because it offers everyone his dull his full due and he is entitled to everything because it is his birthright as a son of God there is no other way in which the idea of sacrifice can be removed from the world's thinking any other way of seeing it will inevitably demand payment of someone or something. As a result, the receiver will lose, nor will he have any idea why he is losing. Yet in his holiness restored, yet is his holiness restored to his awareness through your vision. Your holiness blesses him by asking nothing of him. Thus, who see the, those who see themsel themselves as whole, make no demands. Your holiness is the salvation of the world. It lets you teach the world that it is one with you, not by preaching to it, not by telling it anything, but merely by your quiet recognition that in your holiness are all things blessed along with you. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Today's four longer practice periods, each it to involve three to five minutes of practice. Begin with the repetition of the idea for today, followed by a minute or so of looking around you as you apply the idea to whatever you see. My holiness blesses this chair. My holiness blesses that window. My holiness blesses this body. My holiness blesses this container. My holiness blesses this water. Then close your eyes and apply the idea to any person who occurs to you using his name and saying, my holiness blesses you, Jason. You may continue the practice period with your eyes closed. You may open your eyes again and apply the idea for today to your outer world if you desire. You may alternate between applying the idea to what you see around you and to those who are in 
your thoughts. Or you may use any combination of these two phrases of applications that you prefer. The practice period should conclude with a repetition of the idea with your eyes closed and another following immediately with your eyes open. The shorter exercise consists of repeating the idea as often as you can. It is particularly helpful to apply it silently to anyone you meet, using his name as you do so. It is essential to use the idea if anyone seems to cause an adverse reaction in you. Offer him the blessing of your holiness immediately that you may learn to keep it in your own awareness. So, you um, repeat the idea in the shorter practice, practice here periods. Okay, the shorter practice periods are repeating it to everybody. But the other practice periods, you close your eyes and you open your eyes again and apply the idea today to your outer world if you desire and you may alternate between your outer and your inner world and then afterwards you conclude by repeating the idea with your eyes closed and another following immediately with your eyes open so i look in my inner world i see my wife and i say my holiness my holiness blesses you, my wife, Alex. And I say, my holiness blesses the snow. And then I close my eyes. My holiness blesses the light. My holiness blesses my car. My holiness blesses, let's think of a person that's one of my hidden hates, my ex-husband's ex-wife, her name is Julia. My holiness blesses Julia. My holiness blesses that tree. Okay, now that we got that taken care of, and we practice that, can you see the direction in which the Course is trying to bring us? It's trying to bring us towards the forgiveness that I've been talking about. It's trying to bring us towards sending love to our enemies and love to our um, <clears throat> friends and family and, <clears throat> and then to our enemies. And to the situations in our lives, you know, eventually we're going to be sending love and we're going to try to be loving. And I'm not talking about the fake niceness. Um, it, it's difficult to get into the practice of doing this and that's why we're in doing this in the workbook. Um, it's difficult to get into the practice to thinking all the time. Uh, love thoughts and being loving um, it's not easy but you know what I'm here with you um, there, there are the Holy Spirit is with you you're not alone Jesus Gandhi Mother Teresa they're with you they may not be right here this very minute um, Mo Mona Lisa yeah she's with you too they might not be like physically you can't feel them you know but they're here in your heart helping to direct you uh, maybe you can even think of a loved one um, that's with you um, in spirit um, helping to direct you and helping to guide you you know, 
um, the Holy Spirit tries to uh, work the best way for you, you know. And if you want to call the Holy Spirit Jesus, call him Jesus. Um, if you want to call him my favorite guy, Ken Wapnick, call him Ken Wapnick. Because uh, Ken's with the Holy Spirit now. Ken's with God, you know. Um, so whoever you can relate to and you feel close to, um, that's what's important. Um, I don't usually call him Jesus. I usually just call the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Anyway, so I am going to uh, end this today. Please, if you like my lessons, if you can relate, um, please subscribe. If not, you know, um, like, comment, subscribe if you can. You know, leave me a message. Thank you. Have a great night.